I think it's time for the new and improved Raw Down. Can somebody take the gun off me, please? No, no. Oh, God. You no, please. Oh! All right, welcome to Raw Down. Ty fucking died live on air. Uh, we're in it. Hey, guys, editor Ty's here. Well, <laughs> let's let's start up Raw Down. Dude, Raw Down Ty's dead. I'm looking at him. How would you guys do Damn, that? That's yeah, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> we got Train a new member. Sideways tie coming soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, well, I have to, you know, boot up the clone lab again. Yeah, we'll we got, we've had tie in a prestige machine for uh, know, 17 years now. Yeah, the new member is new extremely member. sideways tie. Oh, and Emerald. Hey. Who? Yeah, Emerald. Greetings. There he is. Hello. This dude never even watched wrestling before. So we're making no. him. Yes, so TLDR, <laughs> they've known me for years. I do not care about wrestling. However, uh -huh. I'm going to start off by saying I am not here to shit on wrestling or as they say in the business, quote unquote, sports entertainment. I'm yep. not here to do that. I'm here to have an okay time with the boys. Watch this wrestling from 2006. Yeah, leave the shitting for us. What? Why? Why? Why 2006? Why not? I don't yeah, know. Why not? Because well, because I seen uh the the list of you know where we get the content. It's like it starts all the way back in what the 90s. Why don't we uh, start all the way back there? If, I mean, if you really want to start the beginning of wrestling, we can go back to like the 40s. But no, no, it looked like shit. Why not? That would look cool. Nah. Why not? Uh, and hold on, hold on. I need to start off with this other other hot take that um, uh, uh -huh. you guys should definitely hear. Uh, if Ancient Rome had this instead <laughs> of gladiatorial combat, they would not have fallen. Is that true? <laughs> Agree. He's right. <laughs> I've read at least one book. He's correct. I knew, I knew Martin would agree with me. Who would be the Vince McMahon of Roman Empire? Ooh. No, I need, I need, that's, that's a Martin and Nico discussion right now. Topic one. <laughs> Fuck um, I mean Heliogabalus is a decent shout. Um, yeah. I mean, if you take uh, who the fuck who is Joaquin Phoenix in the Gladiator movie? Which M was that supposed to be Commodus or whatever? Oh fuck! The, God, I haven't seen it, but I he he he's like one of the mid tier ones. Yeah, I it would. I'm gonna go with the Joaquin Phoenix version of whatever fucking emperor that was in Gladiator would be the Vince McMahon. Fair enough. Now, who would be the like the star, like John Cena? Uh... Oh, the Cena. I mean, Augustus. <laughs> probably Augustus <laughs> Julius. Yeah, yeah. Augustus thought he was Cena for sure. Absolutely, yeah. with all of his morality codes and saying sex was bad, it would be Augustus. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Oh yeah, I don't know if Emerald's been uh, up to date. So John Cena hates sex, and that means he's the good guy. Oh. Edge loves sex. Triple H loves sex because I mean I mean Stephanie Man's pregnant, so he loves sex. That means they're the bad guys. Okay. You know what? You know what? Honestly, Big Show he hated sex. Honestly, because I was so confused. I mean, I mean, spoilers for the main event. Big Show and John Cena were on the same team. It made no sense to me now, but now. You know, like, damn. I mean, Kane yeah, never I had have, sex in his life. Let's just be honest. I have no context for anything before the episode I watched. That's great. That's perfect. But as I'm sure you've all noticed by now, our uh, listener, what's up, Alex? Um, hey. <laughs> Joe is, oh, oh, we're getting another host uh -oh. live coming in. Uh, uh -oh. He'll be here in a second. But anyway. It's so, a, it's as I'm, sure, yeah, as I'm sure you've noticed by now, Joe is uh, been exiled to Can't the tell. other show. We could not handle him being here. We had to sequester him on Smack Up with the other Saddam Hussein sympathizers. <laughs> uh, the only bastard those gross <laughs> bastards will ever like. It could not be done. On this show, we only support the young legend gone too soon, uh, Momar Gaddafi. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, died in the streets with his countrymen instead of being dragged out of a hole by imperialist pigs. 
So we are asking you, dear listeners, please support us in this endeavor. Go to our Redbubble store, buy our new line of Gaddafi merch. That's right. And uh, we got them right a there. To all your local politicians, post on all your social medias, uh, Club Penguin, RuneScape, Neopets. Uh, Gaia Justify. Online. Gaia Online, especially Gaia Online. Uh, hashtag oh, yes. Team Gaddafi, uh, hashtag Raw Down. Right. And, uh, and now we... On your favorite show, the only show on this fucking network with decorum and class, are going to open by talking about piss. That's right. (laughs) Yes, sir. But before, but before we get into the piss, we had a little recap of last week, and I got I got something to yell about because I yelled about on Smack Up. They love to dub in the sounds, and you know Vince, you know Vince and Shane and Stephanie drugged the shit out of Sean last week. Yeah, hey, was that legal? No. no, definitely not. They got that on camera. Yeah, yeah. and then and then then Sean drinky the drinky the water and they go slurp slurp. It got really like zoomed in and <laughs> like a Minecraft noise. And I'm like, okay, they need to chill. <laughs> Here in the beautiful Ford Arena in Beaumont, Texas. We got Vince McMahon. That's right. We got Shane McMahon. We got the security and Dr. Feldman. He's here. Dr. Feldman in a <laughs> shitty slacks, a sweatshirt, <laughs> and a lab coat they bought for like a dollar at uh, Halloween City, USA. That's right. Uh, uh, one one thing I will say about the McMahon family, uh, fuck them. Why? Um, What's wrong with them? What'd they do? Why would you do this? They shouldn't have done that to Shawn Michaels. But they want him to. They want him to be a drug addict again. We'll get to that. <laughs> Uh, uh, Shane looks like a piece of wet bread. Why? What do you mean by that? He just looks like a piece of wet bread. Those that know me will know. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. He's just a wet bread. Oh. Um, very weird how they made Shawn Michaels piss in public, uh, surrounded by a crowd with children in that crowd. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We, That's we're not we even there yet. Run through it. The people need to know. Nobody's going to actually watch this because, shit. They need context that we're talking about. Why was Sean pissing in front of children? Everyone needs to know why he's pissing in front of children. All Come right, on. guys. Yes. Here's the perfect. I have the perfect thing for this. Okay. As I've been ill and in the hyperbaric time chamber, uh, I watched this episode uh, after I. Drank a bunch of NyQuil, so I don't actually remember anything that happens here. So I can be the audience stand-in for this episode because I don't. I can imagine I very loosely remember the just nonsense that happened in front of me while watching this while very sick. I can so, imagine Dave just sitting there in his big king-size bed with a tube of NyQuil going right into his mouth, slurping and watching. Shawn Michaels piss and falling in and out of sleep and wondering where he's was, gone wrong and why he's here. It was very bizarre. I'm going to be honest. Shawn Michaels was on drugs, Vince says, as he's cutting the nasty promo that Shawn was of sound mind and body during both their matches. But then he was drugged on drugs after the matches, slurring his own words, being a little, little goofy guy backstage. He was never on drugs during the match, though. So they need to do a public urination test to prove to everybody in that audience that Sean was on the drugs. Which really doesn't make sense because they would probably have to do that the week prior. But, yeah, you know, you know, they should have done the hair test. Clip a little hair. Ah, not Shane on TV. Not on disgusting. TV. You know, Shane needs to know if he's like going to be clean for their match on Saturday in that street fight. Then that brings out Shawn Michaels with his piss bottle. Oh my God. Which is his, his penis. And Shane keeps like calling him just a bunch of names from the security line. Yeah, filthy he's, junkie. He's calling, yeah, degenerate junkie. Yeah, huh? He can do stuff? A liar. Liar, you stupid idiot. I hate you. Why don't you go pee in that cup for me? It's not like a piss cup either. It's like a pint... It's like a quart yeah. of soup that you would get from like a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, I, would, I would describe it as like the top of like my ninja bullet like <laughs> Like yeah. it's a whole big like 
<laughs> big cup. And it's, got, a it's got the measuring lines. Not, yeah, you would not have to worry about overflow in this particular piss cup. I've but only had to does. do it once, but it was a little thimble. Does. It is not a soup cup of piss. But we'll get but he to that. Filled it up. He oh, filled boy. it. They even they even like, man, you really had to go, didn't you? And it was so brown. It was like, so brown. Fucking I, water. Dude. Well, I mean, to be fair, I last time he drank thought... water, he got drugged. So he's been staying away from the water for a week. He hasn't had water in a week. <laughs> I thought it was just like they they. It wasn't even real pee. It was just beer because that's what it looked like. No, I was pissed. It was pissed. Yeah. It was real. This is yeah, real. It had the piss foam. Oh, he was a medical also on stage. Vince says <laughs> if he was proved to be a junkie. He will be suspended without pay and forfeit the match on Saturday. And Dr. Feldman will become P. Pisso and watch him piss. <laughs> yeah. It's true. We there need is a... to observe the collection. I need to yeah, observe... There's like a three foot tall square in the back of the <laughs> ring that is uh, curtained off so he doesn't just actually whip it out on TV, by the way. He turns yeah. into Aaron Rodgers with his poop tent, but this is his pee tent. Any yeah, football that's... people out there, <laughs> welcome. Go away. <laughs> it's wrestling time. Uh, Vince comes no. out. Or not Vince. Uh, Shane comes. Or not Shane. Ah, Sean. You know, there's Somebody a lot of people. There's a lot of people in this ring at this moment. Shawn Michaels a, meat, has man. his brown ass pee, and he goes, it's better to be pissed off than pissed on. And he just flops it right into Vince and Shane's face. He blasts his piss everywhere. And oh, then yeah. Coach on commentary goes, you can't urinate on the chairman! And can't Vince urinate. and Shane are just flopping around. Security guards don't know what to do. At the piss, for some reason, both of them wipe their faces off and then lick it. So they have <laughs> eaten this urine also. I don't know why. Well, they had to know if he was diabetic. Yeah. And on drugs. <laughs> Yeah, they shouldn't have kept their mouths open. Is that drug pee? That. Is that drug pee? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I can't believe that fucking segment. Why would they start off with a fucking piss match? Yeah, very, very weird. Uh, but, <laughs> hey. That's entertainment. In a yeah, way. Dr. P. Pisso had almost finished his dipstick test before Sean stole it and then chucked it at him and left. Yeah, whatever he happened? He writhed in piss and scream. Whatever and happened to the did. doctor? He just kind of dipped out. We don't even know if Sean's on drugs. He could just be drug addict man right now, but instead, we'll never know. He got away with it. So, I have a question. Sure. Was that man an actual doctor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. Definitely. Yeah, why, why would you think otherwise? Yeah, you can't legally say someone's a doctor if they're not. Yeah. That's, that's that'd what I'm be saying. wrong. I mean, they'll... they'll Okay, I they'll drug a man on camera, but they won't bring in a fake doctor. Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> this man has standards. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe that for one He has second. some integrity. It's true. Not as much yeah. as the big show, but he has integrity. Okay. That leads I'll into the that, that leads into Vince and Shane in the bathroom and they're washing their faces profusely and going Are they in a bathroom? It looks like they're in a or... break room with like a little <laughs> internet thing. Yeah, I've, it could be. And he's like, Shawn Michaels is going to fight four members of the Spirit Squad in a steel cage tonight. I don't know why yeah. five and not all, or why not all five instead of just four, but he's like, well, I don't know why he's giving him a little advantage there. It's a Texas um, Tornado tag cage match, so all four of them can just be in the cage with Shawn Michaels. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, that's where my note comes in. Ah, yes, punish the wrestler by giving him more matches. Well, yeah. That's how you do yeah, it. Yeah, but they're going to kill him. There's four of them and only one of him. Also, yeah. I had the closed captions on. Peacock will censor bitch, but not bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. It censors ass. We need Nico to wake up because the women are here. I'm here. Oh. <laughs> Nico, after weeks of suffering, finally gets something decent. This is the best women's match in like two months on this goddamn show. This is true. I, I, you know, I was expecting my regular old, ah, uh, it's a women's match, you know, and then it's Trish, which I'm like, all right, well, Trish is good. Who, who the hell she's fighting? Uh, Candice Michelle again. And then, no, no, it's Victoria. And I, 
you know, I, I flared up a bit. I'm like, okay, this, this could be good. Woo! And yeah. They did wrestling moves. Woo! I wish I kept a better track, but uh, I, I was not expecting this. Normally, it's just hail pole slam, you know. But, yeah. so, it's Trish v. Victoria. It was a good match. They did some cool stuff. A couple of good slams from Victoria. I like how when she goes for the hail pole to the slamming the head on the mat that she gets like a good grip like it actually looks like she's doing it where you'll watch some of these older episodes and you'll see that it's like a lot of it's really light but victoria always has some like grease to she her. she put some she's, stank on it yeah she's got some stank on it like her That's knee right. strikes are pretty good um there's this great segment where trish stratus goes for like a uh, standing head scissors in the ring and just tosses her and that looked really well again trish stratus is Excellent, and if she came around youth now, she'd probably be the top res- women's wrestler. I mean, she did, yeah. No, Trish had some good matches in 2023. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the yeah. 2023 cast. She did. Yeah, she did. I'm just saying, if she like started around now, she'd oh be yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, yeah you're she, right. She'd be the elite women's wrestler. Like she is so good and talented. Do you think she'd stuff. be in the Fed or in the indie scene? I think. Same. Ooh. I think it would have been Fed because Fuck uh, fed. she got pulled. Fuck the from, Fed. Um, she got pulled from modeling by WWE. She wasn't, I think, traditionally like going into wrestling to wrestle. Yeah. So I think if, she, if there's any place she would end up in, it would be the WWE either way. And yeah, I mean, she kills it. Pretty good match. All of a sudden, what happens? Uh, Candace, not Candace, fucking idiot. Victoria's ready to do something. She's getting in there, and who shows up but Toy Rosen, who gives her the, a missile drop kick, I believe. And then fucking Trish hits her shit, and boom. Trish is yeah. the winner. She retains the, the dump. Job. Yeah, she retains. <laughs> is that what and they call it? The nose job? I was yeah. definitely here when Toy turned face, so I was not confused when that happened. So, so how do you feel about Tori Wilson? You like Tori Wilson? Yeah, I've always liked Toy. Well, she's dead now. I'm sorry. Backstage, Victoria wow. yells at. That's that's later. That's later. Is that later? Fuck? Yeah, but she's yeah, dead. That's later. She's Toyo dead now. Up. I'm sorry. I apologize. She's dead. You she's like her? Still alive. Well, no. and I think we all know who killed her. None other than John Cena. <laughs> he <laughs> hates her. Well, we don't know who killed her, so it could be John, John Cena. Cena. Shawn Michaels killed her. All right, it's. Well, if he was on drugs, maybe. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, the yeah. theme song of this show does start off with the drugs, the drugs, the drugs, the drugs, the drugs. Sean has been in control this whole time. Yeah. You got the drugs! The drugs! Uh, I have two things about this match. Uh, Victoria does, like, a spin-out fireman's carry sidewalk. Oh, that was so good. Thing. I don't know what yeah. that is, but she hits oh. it twice, and it's great. Yeah, and it's also. Really good. Uh, this whole match, commentary is basically just bobbling about how hot, is babbling rather about how hot uh, Candice Michelle is. So you get one deep, pretty good women's match on this program, and they don't get yeah. it. And yeah. don't worry, as soon as we can, uh, our host will get us that copy of Candice Michelle's Playboy magazine so we can review it. <laughs> I'm not getting that autographed hundred dollar <laughs> Candice Michelle Playboy. Well, you know what? You're the one who listed all the features. You have to do it. <laughs> you're gonna have to read up on like the digital version. You're gonna have to subscribe to Playboy Monthly or some shit. Oh, you do that. You're the married one. No, 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 no. I'm married. I got a sprained ankle. I'm ready to go. Yeah, go to Playboy.com and subscribe so we can get that review with. How about Playboy give us a free sponsorship? You know what? I like don't, that. Don't do that. Why not? Hugh, if you're listening, give us a free sponsorship. He's dead. Yeah, he is. Dead. What? He's dead. Just like, huh? just like half the rost, uh, half the roster in 06. What? <laughs> hey, hey, listen, that's not quite yet. Give it like three years. Oh, okay, my bad. During the break. Yeah, by the way, Hugh Hefner is fucking dead in the ground. You can't convince me that. I mean, if I I'll believe show you his it, body, if I, it's right there. If I believe you think it, you know him. Maybe. Cut. Next match is Edge right. versus Goldust. Yep, no, yep. Okay. All right, Ty. Yeah, reset what you just said. I fucked that up. It's Make okay. sure that's all. Editor Ty's got gotcha. you. 
If okay. I don't gotcha, editor ties gotcha. Oh, it is editor tie. Raw down ties bleeding profusely on the floor. <laughs> help me! Help! <laughs> well, I mean, I'm ties. not gonna, I'm not gonna help him. Listen, during uh, the break, Victoria I... yells at Tori, and then we got Cowboy Troy. He's yeah, here. I don't know who Cowboy Troy is, but he yeah, showed the explain. fuck up. He's a, he's a country rapper, and this is as on his Wikipedia page, and I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody, but he's a hip-hop artist. Oh. I was born in the South. You could say, you have prime permission to say hick. He, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, Emerald's from Austin, Texas, Japan, so we got a That's lot not- big, wide margin <laughs> of, true. of nationalities to pick from. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> Uh, check out that you don't have to watch this feed in 2037 for our Desperate Riders review. Yeah, when we <laughs> we discussed the Cowboy Troy's Cowboy movie. Cowboy Troy and Trace Adkins were in uh, in 2002, 2022. <laughs> Fuck. It'd be old. It'll be 15 years at that point. Yeah, we all be gone Vintage. off that NyQuil for real. <clears throat> Dave, can you give me some more of the NyQuil? Can you give me a little bit. <laughs> mm. yeah, 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 thank, yeah, you, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Troy, Troy shakes the king's hand he shakes joey styles hand and then he daps up coach and i thought that was pretty funny which why would you ever dap up coach come on man you talk about coach the uh, cowboy troy is here because he's the co-host of some show called nashville star on the usa network so we can promo that ah uh, mm. we also get a rated r movie trailer about how mick foley is the most overrated superstar and he's trash and he's lame and he bad i think they got the movie trailer guy to voice this r.i.p that guy by the way oh, is it yeah i th- yeah i think he died a while ago i thought he's been a uh, oh because I, I know the um they still have the uh what do you call it the hall of fame guy okay we got uh, i'm i'm gonna use this time to to accuse peacock of racism because it refused to play the episode for 30 minutes when cowboy troy appeared I do apologize about that, but Peacock, what are you doing? It's Cowboy <laughs> Troy, dude. No, yeah. if Peacock hosts this show, they definitely approve of racism. I don't think this episode <laughs> in particular was that bad about it, but oh man. Get on your That's shit, Peacock. Point. You know what? And... Let's have let's have Emerald. No, no, yep, let's it's cut. Have... Wait until wait until Editor Ty goes Emerald over that. Emerald. No, we've we've talked about this. Beep. He knows what to do. I, I, I'm with that. I, I think her should y'all just say his name and just beep it out all the time. <laughs> he just introduced his beep. Exactly. I, that's funny. Yeah, um, let's yeah. make Ty do more work. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lead the segment. I want to know your thoughts and what happened between Edge, you think you know him, against Goldust, who didn't even get an entrance. So, well, first of all... uh. Rick, the segment about oh. Rick Foley first, man, that guy's just <laughs> Richard Foley is my favorite. Rick Foley. <laughs> hey man, I just I just remember the last name. I I couldn't remember his first name. It happened. So no, bad, it's it, that that's his name now. Okay. Yeah, we got Rick Foley. Um. Uh. Well, Edge. Uh. More like Smedge. Hold on. Let me... I don't. I have. I have. Bruh. First time I seen the man. <laughs> uh. No. No. Um. No real opinion on him yet. Uh, Gold Dust. He he was already in the ring. They put the lights on him, and I was like, "Oh, that man is a freak." But he's <laughs> shiny, though. Props for that. Would you say um, he's gold? Yeah, Bruh. he's gold. <laughs> so the fight is happening, but because Cowboy Troy showed up, the cameras keep cutting over to the commentators. By the way, I didn't say this at the beginning, but I am not a fan of the commentators. Oh, no one is. Don't worry. Oh, they're the oh. They're, they're one of the worst groups of all time. Okay, because they just they just shut the fuck up, man. I came here to watch people fight. Hey, man. But yeah, they just kept cutting to them. Uh, meaty wax coming from Edge V Goldust. Um, uh, I have a note here. I don't even remember writing the uh, the homoeroticism of wrestling is forever constant. True. Oh. That is that was when Edge was in the corner. Gold Dust uh, was standing above him, crotch in his face, about to punch him in the head ten times. That's right. That's a normal move. You gotta. He's um, gotta do the little. You gotta circle, circle up, and then pop, 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 pop. 
And then Edge's girl starts distracting Gold Dust, which gives Edge the the opening to just take out Gold Dust with one tackle. And that's that's uh, a spear. That's his move. Hey man, Gold Dust shouldn't have fallen for that. You see Gold Dust, you see Gold Dust what he was about to do, he see he put his legs up like that cuz he was going to shatter his dreams, which means he was going to kick him in the dick and balls. Ah. So Lita was protecting the crown jewels. He had to do Disgusting. it. Disgusting. You know. It, and so yeah, Edge wins. Then they zoom on in his face. Mm-hmm. That man's got some big teeth. <laughs> <laughs> You got big teeth. Ha ha. <laughs> so uh, I, have and... a, I do have a question yeah. about that. For yeah, does anyone know why? Why did Goldust not get an entrance? Uh, he wasn't uh, important. Yeah, John yeah. This is this is okay. kind of yeah. His last important thing was what a couple of years ago. So he's mostly just there to enhance. Yeah, this uh... is called yeah. This is called a jobber entrance when the other fighter or fighters just don't even get shown on TV. Uh, that's just when you know they're gonna lose. Mm-hmm. I see. Except for the one time every forty years that one of them actually wins. I gotcha. But it is menacing when they turn the lights on up and just reveal them. Yeah, they're just they've this been there was, the yeah. whole time. And... Yeah, this was a rough time in Gold Dust life. Uh, Emerald, you should check out Black Rain in TNA. The the trash can man with the rat, everybody's favorite. Oh boy, that sounds exciting. Uh, uh, and then last thing I have to say, uh, why is Edge the rated R superstar? Has he killed someone before? No, no, he's just wow. really into sex. I mean, yeah. he did beat that's... the shit out of that one guy on the middle of the street. So. Oh, sex that's right. Rated X. No, that was Ric Flair. He was just... Uh, yes, excuse yeah. me, that was, yes, Ric Flair. Definitely. Yeah, it was Ric Flair. <laughs> Woo! He did the woo! Yeah. <laughs> Episode woo. one, baby. Go check that out. Link right here. Probably not, right. but. <laughs> well, I obviously was am way more biased towards Gold Dust because he's a shiny man. He's got face paint on. He doesn't look like just a fucking degenerate like Edge does. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, so Edge grabs the mic. Principal. Edge grabs the mic goes, Shut up, Joey! Shut up, Cowboy Carl! I'm gonna kill Richard Foley at Mania. Look at this promo! And he points at the TV, and there's another rated R movie trailer about how cool Edge is, and that you think you know him? You don't really know him, because he's gonna win against Richard Foley at Mania. In a, was it a hardcore match? Have they announced as a hardcore match yet? I assume they know. Everybody knows at this point. Yeah, if they didn't, spoilers. It's going to be a hardcore match. I need Emerald's thoughts on Peter Gabriel and why he's our number one fan. Just say big big time. Big time. Big time. Big time moment of the night. We got Robert E. Piper and Morton Downey Jr. from like WrestleMania like eight or nine. (laughs) And it was sponsored by Snickers. That was it. It was just him blowing smoke in Roddy's face, and Roddy goes, You think you could do that to me? Pop, 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 pop. That's it. Oh, let me, let I me tell you. About that, I didn't have any notes about that. Let me tell you about this comedian. He is probably one of the worst I've seen just from the segment alone. <laughs> the next guy did was funny. All he did was smoke and say words. He was edgy for the time. No, he wasn't. He was edgy because he smoked on TV. No, he wasn't. <laughs> hey, come on. He no, because he's not smoked. having any of this guy's bullshit. No, it's like, even for the time, this man was not edgy. Oh, come on. Dude, this shit wasn't edgy in the 70s. It was terrible. Get him, Nico. We watched it live. What well, we didn't watch it live. We did watch we it watched- <laughs> during COVID it- times. <laughs> no, it was it, it was a terrible segment. Hey, come on. Lay off. It was a big time moment. Peter Gabriel handpicked out these moments to show us. Oh, here on SmackUp, they they showed Undertaker defeating Psycho Sid for some reason. That was a big time moment, Martin. And then guess what? Then they have JBL cut a promo on Stone Cold. They could have just talked about Stone Cold and Bret Hart, who's also going in the Hall of Fame, instead of Undertaker versus Psycho Sid. That was so stupid. 
I, I got well, they do talk about Bret Hart and Stone Cold in a minute, but I mean, I, I get well, Nico, it's your bit. You have to talk about the murder that happened. The murder, yes. Well, all starts off great. It you was know, very nice. Uh, Maria is in the hallway with the Bullflex. I think it's a 2.0 machine. She looked very respectful. She was very respectful. Nice white tee. Just having a good time in the hallway doing a Bowflex ad. Yeah. Uh, how dare you? Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? I mean, it was not an ad. Get out of here. <laughs> you don't know nothing about ads. <laughs> okay. Trish comes up, and even Trish is like, Why are you walking out in the middle of the hallway? And Maria's like, Oh, it's my Bowflex 2.0 machine. Isn't it cool? And Trish is like, Yeah, I have one of those. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, have you seen, like, Toy or something? She's like, nah, I've just been bow flexing 2.0. <laughs> uh, all right, whatever. So she walks over a couple hallways, and she notices the doors open, and there's blood everywhere, which is a bad sign. Very bad sign. So she looks through the door, and she's like, ah, oh, this can't be Toy. Her hair's red. And then she realizes it's blood, and she's like, oh, no, Toy, no. And she calls for Maria, get some help. Maria, we need help. Oh my god, what happened? And Maria is still working out on the Bowflex 2.0. Oh, well, Maria just so, uh, Maria's in his own. <laughs> he can't stop yeah, her. She's in, which, understandable. If you walk out like me, once you're in the zone, you're in the zone. So, Auto zone? Uh, this probably goes on for like another two minutes or so. And yeah. So, Toy Wilson is dead. So, she'll be back, I don't know, a week to a month. Yeah, we'll we'll see her again soon. Maybe after Saturday night's main event. Maybe. But uh, yeah, you know, I could have sworn I saw one of the uh, wristbands from uh, John Cena in there. I'm, I'm just saying. I I saw the hat. Yeah. The hustle, loyalty, respect. It was it was hidden in the corner. Mm-hmm. And then I saw Dave's John Cena face mask in the corner <laughs> as well. It Ooh, scared me. That's right. <laughs> and the Nyquil bottle. So maybe it was Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot confirm Wait a Dave minute. So much Mike Will that he went back to 2006 <laughs> and dressed up as John Cena to kill Tory Wilson. You can't deny it happened. We're figuring oh, this even out. Worse than you know. I had to put both flexes around <laughs> the facility so that at some point, someone named Chris may or may not happen by one <laughs> and get an idea and get an idea. <laughs> Check out our. Uh, Check this show out and let's see, it's a year and a half of uh, WWE time. So I don't know, in like seven years, uh, we'll get to that. That's we'll right. We'll get to the best Bowflex right. ad ever made. That's right. The next WWE Hall of Fame inductee is Vern Gagne, an AWA legend. That's fine. That's pretty cool. I, I mean, mean, this is a pretty star-studded uh, Hall yeah, of Fame. Yeah, it's huge, guys. man. I mean, Vern Gagne could probably... I mean, historically, I know nobody watching this probably has watched old school, old, old school wrestling. And if you did, yeah, you're probably complaining about us. So, but I mean, he, dude's a big deal. And I mean, like I said, it's a giant. You got Sensational Sherry going in. You got Eddie Guerrero who just died going in. I mean, it is such a star studded cast, this one. And we are not going to talk about it at all. We might. We might. Are we going to do a Hall of Fame episode? I think I think uh, Naram of Smack Up really wants to do it, so we might have to do it as a big meme. Nah, we get three uh, Patreon subscribers. Go down into our... <laughs> 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 when we finally get that Patreon up, I can't wait to see you all there. <laughs> Speaking of Bowflex, we got a Bowflex Rewind. Trips was really right. horny that John Cena could pick up Big Show, and that's all we need to know about that. Trips was given the <laughs> the straight poggers face. Oh man, I got something to say about uh, Triple H later. Okay, we'll move on. Coachman is like, "Bye guys, I'm gonna go do my thing." And everyone goes, "Good, thank God, fuck you, coach." <laughs> coach is up there for the WWE ca- Championship contract signing for Mania. Trips is all suited up. He's got the Matrix shades with Coachman. They're matching. I don't know why they're looking like that. Uh, John Cena's here. I've man, I hate contract signings. Really? Yeah, man. Why? This is just rough. It's just Triple H going, I will win at WrestleMania. And John Cena goes, 
yeah, I will also yeah. win at WrestleMania. And then Coachman I, goes, well, I wonder who's going to win at WrestleMania. See, I'm a hard disagree with you. I love contract signings. Well, this one was um, bad. Yeah, this was a bad one. I, Because, I, I, like, and this goes on my Triple H rant. So when the show started, you might notice I was all in on Triple H, and that's because he was the most serious element on the show. Yeah. But it also because he was in a mid-card feud. And it was like, when he's like kind of more in that position, I actually thought his stuff was good. The second he got that shot at John Cena at WrestleMania, it just went downhill from there. Downhill. You're just hating on his success. No, no. Because like, I like... Because you hate him, Nico. This is not true. I, I have defended Triple H so many times on this show when everyone's shit talked him. But this, it, this feud particularly is not good. Because it's basically Triple H going, You're Super Cena, huh? Well, don't forget I'm the Cerebral Assassin. <laughs> uh-huh. and it, that, that, that's his big comeback. Oh, it's impressive, you do Big Show. I loved it. Yeah, but you can't beat me. Normally, I just slam your head in with the sledgehammer. Oh, but then, I won't. Then John says, "I will take that hammer and stick it straight up your ass." Triple H seems mildly amused, like he wouldn't mind that that much. Yeah, you really. Hey, man. I mean, they're, they're, man. Remember that one time they almost kissed? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Nah, man. But it's like that. This is. Not a good match made because it's it's well, just kind of like there's no really good setup for well, this. Well, Triple H is trying to tempt him into having rough gay sex, and John Cena is, is you know incel, so he's trying yeah. really hard to not get you know horny. And, and to be fair, this would solve all John Cena's problems. So if we just had that's a Triple H. <laughs> so John Cena is like thinking about it, and he's gripping his hand on the table really hard, and he's like, "Oh, maybe maybe I should." And then you hear. Well, it's the big show. And it's slow chemical. <laughs> Cuz the World Tag Team Champions are here. Did they did they have the belts? I can't recall. I don't think they did. No. Why no, would they? they? Them out. Did they bring them out? They did. Oh nah, man. I, I don't think so. But fuck if I am. <laughs> Triple Triple H gets fucking really angry and just tosses that table over and he had a secret sledgehammer underneath the table. Yep. That was cool. And I John Cena looked over like, you bitch. Yeah, no, that was cool. And then John Cena's weapon of choice was his belt. Mm-hmm. And then they just squared off in the middle of the yeah. ring. I, I do like how, because Cena didn't know what was going on. So he was, like, looking at Kane and Big Show, and he was looking at Triple H. He kept, you know, making sure he kept both in his eyes because he doesn't know. I, I like that little detail because a lot of times these wrestlers will just look at the one guy. Well, they look at the people coming, and they just get swatted. Mm-hmm. So it's it, it's nice that John Cena isn't a stupid champion, and like even though he's, you know, they're gonna Vince McMahon's gonna make the match because he's still mad about being covered and pissed, but he doesn't know whose side who's on. Yeah. So yeah, they they're crawling up to the ring very slowly, and then Martin's tag team of the year, Chris Masters and Carlito here here to just bully the tag champs. They're just beating the snot out of them. And then they were also getting beat up. And I'm like, what's going on here? And then Vince shows up and he's like, hey, 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 stop it. Yeah, here's on screen. Hey, we're going to have a six-man tag tonight. We're going to have John Cena and the World Tag Team Champions versus Triple H and Carlito and Chris Masters. And then he sniffs his, like, his... He's yeah, like, oh, I still, still smell like I still smell like piss. I I I do not care about that. <laughs> I have notes. Yeah, about give me that segment. Give so, me. first note: Triple H looks cool. Hell yeah, dude! Right out. Hell uh, yeah! No, Triple H is great. Man, yeah. 2006 John Cena looks so young. <laughs> He's got the long shorts. The shorts. <laughs> Um, I saw small children in the crowd I do not believe should be there. What do you mean? I also, I also saw some chick in the background holding a green sign, Marry me, John Cena, I'm legal. <laughs> hey, that's oh, how you know she was definitely <laughs> not legal. I didn't oh. see that one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, 
listen. Oh, listen. I'm watching wrestling, but I'm also scanning the crowd. Oh, no, that's the best part. <laughs> because yeah. who's the bigger freak? The people in the ring or the people that go to the these people things? that go to those things? Definitely, hundred percent. I yeah. I will say if I was crazy enough to buy a ticket and go to a show, I would be. I would not be happy about uh, a signing in the ring. Is like that's not fighting. I came here to see fighting. It's TV. What is this? this is this is soap opera one hundred and one. This is all to build I, up another match that look, you'll pay I money get to. That. Yeah, look, there is much better gay drama. This was like bad attempt at gay drama. Sometimes it's good. Yeah, one uh, time. Let's see. Really uh, good. Yeah, one week uh, they were only a schnoz away from kissing. How how in this era era. How new is John Cena to the wrestling? Uh, he debuted 2002. in 2002, but he was wrestling in like OVW, like the little leagues in okay. like 2000. He was in the movie okay. Ready to Rumble, flexing on a gym machine in the background. So like around 2000. Okay, okay. Because Triple H was talking up Big Talk, Big Smack. Uh, crowd was loving on John Cena. Though. Which yeah, is surprising. Um... Yeah, they've been pretty mixed. Were we are full set in like the outside of like Thug Life Cena to like we are in beginnings of Super Cena, and they are not. They have not been happy. Yeah, because Cena's had that belt for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very confused that Triple H just uh, threatened John Cena's life on camera with witnesses. Yeah, you'll see a lot uh, of that. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah. John nah, Cena trust- coming back at Triple H, uh, be able to return heat. Uh, Big Show and Kane show up unannounced. Actual sledgehammer. Oh boy, you loved the secret sledgehammer bit. <laughs> and then the other two guys show up. So I have a question: Do these fuckers just live in that building? Yeah. Because <laughs> wrestlers just keep showing up. Yeah, they all just they're hang all out. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, they're all, they're just working. I mean, it's like, why wouldn't you be at your work, right? I mean, you got to be called in to work. Oh, they're all Is called in the work. Always? Even oh. if you're not, even if you don't work, you just are there. Ugh. You gotta, you gotta travel. See, I don't think I could do that. No, I've we're gonna, joked about. We're signing I've you in. About my, I've joked about uh, my upcoming uh, debut as a uh, wrestler champion, but man, I don't think I could do that. These people are freaks. That's right. <laughs> I can't oh, yeah. hang around them twenty four seven. And the biggest freaks of all, we got the Spirit Squad. With oh, Kenny, God. Johnny, Mitch, Mikey, Nikki, and we're here to see the Spirit Squad versus the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, in a steel cage match. Now, there's five of them in there, but only four of them can go in the cage match with Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Apparently, yes. Mitch was just allowed to be the cuckold, just like he was the week prior, or a couple <laughs> weeks prior, when Vince said, yeah. "Mitch, you're gonna just watch. You could just watch. It'd be too much to have you fighting there." And Mitch is like, "Okay, yes. okay." Is Mitch? So this just, is like a an established thing. Yeah. Is Mitch just hurt or I don't like know. broken? They or... just don't. He's just the cuckold. They don't want him in there. He's like, "Oh man." Anyway, okay. also by rule, Mitch could just show up in there. It's a no DQ match. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, yeah. Mitch, so Mitch Shawn disrespected. Michaels comes in, then the Spirit Squad come out, do their stupid thing. Nobody in this fucking uh, group will ever make it big or be <laughs> ever. Um, so four of them fan out and start clambering up the cage on different sides instead of going in the door for some reason. They choose to scramble up like weird cheerleader spiders. Yep. Uh, Shawn Michaels proceeds to fight a uh, one of them until. And then fight some of them off until they all eventually just start to overwhelm Shawn Michaels. And all four of these people begin to just pummel this old man on the ground. Uh, One of them, I guess Mitch on the outside, has an air horn that he keeps blowing. And it sucks. Um, The Spirit Squad just throws Shawn around. Yeah, like that, but worse. Uh, The Spirit Squad just throws Shawn around. They just start uh, taunt spamming as Shawn lies broken on the floor. But eventually, Shawn Michaels gets up, and it turns into a kung fu movie, where instead of all of them attacking <laughs> him, one of them just comes at him at a time, and he starts to dispatch them. Uh, so once he's fairly thoroughly taken them out, he starts to climb the cage to escape and win the match, but instead he decides, actually, I'm going to elbow drop this one guy in the middle of the cage. Hell yes. He does so, uh, starts, up to, starts to tune up the band for uh, Sweet Chin Music, and then just decides to backdrop two guys right into the cage instead and then goes to walk out 
and win the match again in a different way. He totally could just climb out at this point. Nobody would stop him. But Mitch on the outside uh, slams the door back on his head. So Shawn Michaels was oof out, ouch, by head. Uh, and then catches the door and in revenge throws the door at Mitch. I can't believe he did to Mitch. <laughs> Yeah, and then turns around back into the ring again instead of just uh, winning. Uh, Sweet Chin Music's one of these idiots. Uh, and then is, again, about to just walk out like he could have before. And then Shane McMahon pops out of wherever the hell he was. Uh, <laughs> slams the door on him again. So Sean has taken two door shots, but this one is much more effective. And he is now dead. And Shane comes in, grabs the corpse of one of the Spirit Squad. Puts it on Shawn Michaels. We get a one, two, three. Uh, Shawn Michaels has lost this fight against the Spirit Squad. Uh, Shane continues to beat up this dead old man and demands the cage be raised, and nobody listens to him for several minutes for some reason. So he just keeps taunt spamming, and then he has the Spirit Squad hold down Shawn Michaels in one of the corners so Shane can set up for and hit the coast to coast. Uh, Shane continues to taunt spam a dead man. And Sean's blood is now all over his shirt, and then he leaves. That coast to coast was awesome, by the way, on that garbage can. Shane, yeah. just, Shane just always gets a good, usually. Yeah. So I'm sorry, there's not really a play by play to this, but it's basically just four guys. I mean, you did the play by play. Fair enough. Kenny got the win, by the way. It was Kenny, the the star of the the team. Yeah, the only one that ever mattered. Yep. <laughs> all right, I have notes. Yes. Uh. Why did Shawn Michaels turn that t-shirt into a poncho? He did not have to do that. What do you mean? Let the him cook. I doing that shit. Uh, uh, and the spirit squatters, I like to call them Fat in Sync. By the way, what? Three <laughs> Arcadis, November 17th. Hold on. You're calling them Fat in Sync when, you know, Joey Fat one is on in sync. How could yeah, you say he that? He makes it look good. He makes it look good. Yeah, that's my favorite member. I love Joey Fat One. I am also a large uh, man-like being. Um, <laughs> what? Yes. Sean wasted absolutely no time attacking the first guy as soon as he got on top of the cage. He scrambled up there, grabbed him, started beating the shit out of him. But then they all started ganging up on him, so I shouted, Sean, don't take that shit from these clowns. Uh, then he started fighting back, hit a couple crotch shots, Got that elbow drop. Uh, started kicking their ass. Bo- those boys know how to tumble. I'll say that. Yeah, they're uh, cheerleaders. And as soon as Shane showed up, man, get the fuck out of here, Shane. What love Shane. red looking piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> and then I see Sean. I didn't even see the when Sean started bleeding. His face was just blood. Yeah, the trash can got uh, him. Yeah. Well, no, he was bleeding before the trash yeah, can. Yeah, he was bleeding before that. Well. Yeah, they got him in the corner, bleeding trash can. Man, 2006 was a different time. Very. Uh, that's all I got for I that gotta, segment. I got to pass that off to Nico because Nico, Todd Grissom is here. He's interviewing your, your champion. Hold on. Huh? Hold on. Huh? First of all, you missed it's big time, big time again. Did I miss the big time? Yes, you missed a big time. Peter Gabriel is crying now. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Peter. Hi there. Also, Raw is brought to you by V for Vendetta. Oh, my God. Both <laughs> blacks and Snickers. It, it, it is not a coincidence that V for Vendetta came out around John Cena's incel right? <laughs> It's true. And now Todd Grisham is here. I apologize, Peter Gabriel. I'm so sorry. I will give you a little gift when you come back home. I love you. Hi there. That's editor Ty. Not Raw Don. Raw Don Ty's. uh, You okay over there? Uh, Who, me? No, I was talking about Raw Don Ty. He's. Oh, Oh, he's he's dead. He's dead, I think. Yeah, we were just talking to editor. Oh, uh, fuck. These storylines are kind of hard to like follow. I'm not gonna lie. It's just like Raw. Yeah. Now Raw is easy to follow. It's dumb. Hey. Just think of the stupidest <laughs> thing. And that's Raw. <laughs> that's the fucking plot line. It's like. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot going on there because I think it's absolutely correct. <laughs> I mean, it's still better than SmackDown, but it's like. <laughs> I don't know, man. Welcome to Raw down. I- <laughs> Welcome to Raw Down! 
Yeah, so, wait, wait Todd, you explode. So Todd Grisham's interviewing someone. I don't remember who he's interviewing. Trish. 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 Nico! Oh, 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 it was this segment, right? So Todd Grisham's interviewing Trish, and he's like, wow, with Tori Wilson down, what are you going to do? And oh. Trish is like, I don't know. And then Mickey James shows up, and Trish is pretty much fucking done with Mickey James. Mickey James is like, look, Trish, I know the toy's down and all, and blah, blah, blah. But why don't I be your partner for Saturday Night's main event? And it's like, look, look, you know I hate Victoria and uh, Candice as much as everyone else. So once we beat them, we can just part ways and everything will be cool, right? And Trish, she doesn't even say anything. She's so over the shit. And she probably has a good idea that John Cena tried to kill Tori Wilson. But, you know, <laughs> same time, she's still kind of side-eyeing Mickey. Hell <laughs> she's yeah. like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, you know, she's not happy with it, but she's like, I mean, I asked Maria for 45 minutes to fucking get a medic, and she was just walking out on the Bowflex saying, so I guess this is the better deal. Fair enough. So, yeah. So, it's now, instead of Tori and uh, Trish. Trish, it's yeah. Trish and Mickey. I wonder how Jack's doing. Is Jack Jack's doing dead. okay? What, Jack, Jack died in the prison cell? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Yeah, what's, what's up with Jack? How's he been? Hey, <laughs> so... Oh. He's gone. He's still in jail. <laughs> you know who else is dead? We'll get there. But we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll get there. Stone Cold Eddie returning. Guerrero? Yes, Stone Cold's <laughs> returning at Saturday Night's main event in a beer drinking contest. And they're they're a little talking about it. Like, oh boy, is he a part of Raw? Is Stone Cold a Raw guy? Because they were like really into it. Coach was not happy about it. Coach was like, oh, fucking Stone Cold's back. Ugh. Ugh. Um, Vince. Is backstage again. We get another McMahon promo where Sean, uh, Sean's blood is all over Shane's shirt, and Vince is very happy to see that. And he announces that he's going to bring back a member of the Kiss My Ass Club, JR, to ref the match on Saturday. I thought he was just calling it. Yeah, he's going to be the ref. They're so excited to see that. Maybe, maybe he's on commentary, but they said ref. And they had the little cowboy hat, and then you see a little cowboy hat on Shane McMahon. Oh, Shane McMahon does his best Jim Ross impression. <laughs> does anybody have what he said? Uh, I don't. I just wrote he did a decent uh, JR impression and then threatened to beat the shit out of JR if he does a bad job and then wanders off, and Vince seems a little disgusted by that. But this episode is, I think... The only time Vince has ever been proud of Shane yes. on television or yeah. in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's very all. true. We got a... Uh... Oh, no, go on, Nico. I'm sorry. Nah, I was going to say, you're probably right. We got uh, a, a SmackDown recap. Boo. Who cares? Boo. No, Boo. Yeah, nobody cares about fucking SmackDown. Dave, I need you to tell me about this intercontinental championship match between Shelton Benjamin and... And Rob Van Dam. But before we get into Dave, we got to talk about R.I.P. Oh. Mama Benjamin. Our sweetheart. Our sweet, heavenly. We love you. I'm so sorry. We'll never see Mama Benjamin again. Is that the end of Mama Benjamin? Wait, is that Mama the Benjamin end? is the end, yeah. She goes under heart surgery because Ric Flair scared her so bad and used that oxygen tank. We never oh. see her again. Oh, oh really? No. You know, well, that just killed the fucking internet of con the Intercontinental Championship. Uh huh. They tell me about that match. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, notably, Mama Benjamin was missing. Um, uh, I mean, again, I was, uh, you know, I was in a, I was in a way while watching this match. That's fine, me too. But, I mean, it seemed like it was. I mean, I guess the best way to put it, the most standard affair of just like Shelton Benjamin. Rob Van Dam, they just did moves. You know, they just rolled around and did some technical moves. Like the belly to belly off I the top like rope was, was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was cool. But I feel like that was the only real standout 
thing in this match because it didn't have Mama Benjamin. Yeah, I really wasn't into chaos. it. Yeah, there was nothing really notable yeah. about a Rob Van Dam match. It was kind of kind of weird. Well, no. Well, it's because they don't. Sean Benjamin now doesn't really have anything. I mean, he but lost even still, one. like Rob Van Dam would typically like hard carry matches when stuff like this happens. But That's true. he also just kind of he just showed up and wrestled. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's just kind of like a sleep match, you know? Like, you know, they just didn't care that much. Like, they're just in and out. And it's and it's it's fine. It was it wasn't bad. It was just fine. It's weird because it was to set up the Money in the Bank match because they have all three Raw people in there: Shell Benjamin, Rob Van Dam, Ric Flair. And mm-hmm. after after Shell Benjamin uh, retains, uh, he gets up in RVD's face. Uh, Rick does. And it just I really okay. <laughs> What's Rick yeah. going to do to RVD? You know, who gives a shit? Well, for now, but we will soon. I need Martin to talk about his boys, because it's main event time. Time for the main event! Yeah. Yeah! Ooh, yeah. Uh, we got John Cena and... Uh, uh, do we want to go with Kane Show or the Big Kane? Or their... I, th- I like Big Kane. <laughs> okay, so... Big see- Kane. Yeah, John Cena and the Big Kane versus uh, Carlito Masters and Triple H. The first thing we see for this match is some guy in the front row in a Carlito wig. Oh, yeah. Absolutely he... uh, fucking demolishing. <laughs> the double apple. Apples, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I guess this is, well, it's 2006. I guess you could get an apple into the ring or this guy's a plant. I don't know, but my guy is going fucking on a sick one on some apples. Uh, this is more entertaining than Cartlito has ever done. <laughs> uh, the best part of this match, for sure, is this guy. But after, uh, I don't know, about five minutes of entrances, because this is like a four-minute match. We start off with uh, Carlito and the Big Show. Uh, Big Show just throws him into a corner, smacks the shit out of him. It's really loud. I was happy because it was Carlito suffering uh, big style. Kane tags in, continues to pummel Carlito until Chris Masters runs in to take a bullet for him. So Carlito can eye gouge Kane and escape to tag out Triple H. Uh, John Cena blind tags himself in. The crowd's like, yeah, this is the fight. We love it. And then Triple H says, frick you, crowd, you smell. And he turns to Carlito <laughs> and tags out, marking this uh, the first time I've ever been upset that Triple H has left the match. Um, <laughs> Damn. Uh, Carlito, uh, for his yearly I'm going to actually try, uh, gets up real high on a back body drop. That was cool. They go back and forth. Chris Masters tags in. They just put heat on Cena. Carlito tags in. Just heat, 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 heat. It's boring. It doesn't matter. Um, and then eventually, uh, John Cena gets out of this and flies halfway across the ring uh, to the to Big Show, who clotheslines Carlito, uh, managed to get his leg up to kick Chris Masters at 7,000 pounds, which was impressive. Uh, Triple H comes in to continue this feud that's been happening for months, uh, hits him once, Big Show is unaffected, and then he headbutts Triple H straight to hell. It's a bad power slam on Carlito. Uh, Chris Masters breaks up the pin. Kane hits the second row. Kane line and knocks Chris Masters out of the ring. Uh, Big Show picks up and Gorilla presses Triple H, who is now run in, walks him around, and then just dumps him right under the middle of the mat. Uh, the Big Kane are calling for the double choke slam. Uh, Carlito and Masters come in and hit both of them with chairs, rendering this a DQ. So you've had a boring three and a half minute match that ends in DQ, like every Raw main event does. Uh, uh, the Big Kane and Car Masters go onto the outside. Uh, the Big Kane knock the chairs out of their hands. Uh, John Cena is staggering around in the ring. Triple H is staggering around the outside. They start taunt spamming, and they get closer and they get closer. And Triple H stands on the apron and they get closer, and they are so close to kissing, but instead, Randy Orton runs out from the crowd. From SmackDown. Uh, RKO's John Cena. Um, and as he runs back, you can see a, like, a sign that is extremely big and extremely long. That's just something along the, to the fact of uh, Triple H, you are my idol, and there's a lot of other writing on it. I'm pretty sure whoever this is definitely tried to murder Triple H after the show. 
But anyway, uh, John Cena is dead. Triple H is looking out of the ring as Randy Orton runs away, stunned by this, seemingly. And then he looks down at the corpse of John Cena, like, hey, hey, you're dead. And then the show ends. Oh, I'm so sick of these fucking shitty main events, dude. <laughs> I feel like every week we have to talk about a, a amalgamation of the the main event people tagging up and a random amount of tag teams and then just fighting. Okay, so that's been the standard affair because I was very confused as to what the hell was going on during that main event. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whatever, maybe I'm just sleepy. Like maybe this made sense and I missed it. No, it was just it was just a lot of garbage. Yeah, it even ends garbage. I mean, this whole thing, it's garbage. It's a garbage main event. It's kind of a garbage show, to be yeah. honest, t- today. Uh, That's like, bad. It had a good, yeah, it had a good strong, like, half hour, 20 minutes, and then it just died. We get all excited for the piss segment, and then we get disappointed for another hour. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. You know, the Trish and uh, Victoria yeah, match. Yeah, yeah. That was good. That was the best match of the show. Also, apparently, the fucking IC match went almost 10 minutes. That cleaned half that match like card because everything did not go longer than five minutes. Except for Sheldon and Rob Van Dam. Yeah, I didn't think about that. But you're absolutely right. There, let's see, I'm counting up. There couldn't have been more than like five matches on this show. It was five. Five even. Okay. Yep. Lots of segments this episode, and a lot of a lot of big time to its credit. But... Yeah, Nico, I have a question for Nico about mm-hmm. um, the Randy Orton inclusion at the end there, stopping them from kissing. Yep. Is he some sort of malevolent agent under John Cena's control of incel <laughs> to you know stop all the men from kissing, etc.? Or oh no way! I think he's a I think he's a, a self made man. I I think see you you're gonna think I'm crazy. So my okay. hypothesis is that Randy Orton is a manifestation of John Cena if he wasn't an incel. <laughs> and it's himself bullying himself away from kissing triple A. Is this looper? Kind of. Interesting. So in a way, Randy Orton and this is why they're going to feud for 20 years. Uh, Randy Orton is John Cena. He's, he's, he's shadow John Cena. Oh. So Randy Orton is the nobody of John Cena. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. is that why he hears the voices? Is this like the past yeah. memories of, of John Cena? Exactly. The voices are the voices of John, which is why he hears them. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. I, I'm yeah. glad I asked. I wasn't expecting such a great Real response. quick, I need a one-word review from Emerald describing this Raw. The whole episode. Just everything, yep. The whole episode. One word. Piss. And there you have it. You've been raw down. <laughs>